This is Dr. D. Kalandar Basha working as Associate Professor in the Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering, Dundigal, Hyderabad. Today we are going to see the programs related to 8086 process. This I am taking as a second part. So where we are going to write the assembly language program for sorting both in ascending order as well as descending order. The slides are prepared by referring the textbook Advanced Microprocessor and Peripherals. Authors are K. M. Burchendi and A. K. Ray. Publication Tata Micra. Write an ALP to sort a given series in ascending order. So here we are going to be provided with a few numbers. So let us consider I am taking four numbers that is N1, N2, N3, N4. So whatever the order which we are provided that we had to arrange that one in ascending order that is small number to be the one. There exist a large number of sorting algorithms. The algorithms used in this program is bubble sorting. In this method of sorting, the first number of the series compared with the second one. If the first number is greater than the second number, exchange their position. That means first number will be placed in second number position, second number will be placed in the first number position in the series. Otherwise, leave the positions unchanged. Then compare the second number with the, the recent form of the series with the third and repeat the exchange part for all the remaining numbers of the series as we have done for the first case. Repeat the procedure for completing a series n minus 1 times. After n minus 1 iterations, you will get the last just number at the end of the series, where n is the length of the series. Again, start from the first address of the series. Repeat the same procedure right from the first element to the last element. After n minus 2 iterations, the second highest number is at the last but one place in the series. Continue this complete series in arrange in ascending order. So let us consider the series is consist of four numbers 53, 25, 19, 02. So in this the first number is compared with the second number that is 53 will be compared with 25. As the first number is greater than the second number, swap these two numbers. So then we are going to get 25, 53. The remaining two numbers will be as it is in the first iteration. In the second iteration, we are going to be compared the 53 with the 19. So as 53 is greater than the 19, so we are going to swap these two numbers. Then we are going to get the series as 25 and 19 53 02 after second iteration. Next, we will compare the third number with the fourth number that is 53 will be compared with 02. So, as 53 is greater than 02, swap these two numbers. So, then we are going to get the series as 25 19 02 53 that is in third operation. So, in the first iteration, we are going to get the maximum of the series as the last element. Now, we will go for finding out the second highest number. So, where we require a little bit less number of iterations compared to first one. If a series is consist of four numbers, so how many iterations we require is only three iterations are required. Now, the series we are having is 25, 19, 0 to 53. This will be given for the second iteration. In the second iteration, the first number will be compared with second number. So, here the 25 is greater than 19. So, these two numbers will be swapped. After swapping, the numbers that is series we are going to get as 19, 25, 0 to 53. This is in the first iteration. In the next loop, we will compare the 25 with 0 to. As 25 is greater than 0 to, these two numbers will be swapped so that we will get the series as 19, 0 to 25, 53 in the second operation. Now, if you see here, still it is not in the ascending order. We have done the second largest number that we have placed in the second position. 
So next we are going to be find how many operations are required for placing the second number R to in number. Next the series we are going to have here it is 19, 0, 2, 25, 53. Now 19 will be compared with 0, T. As 19 is greater than 0, 2, these two numbers will be swapped so that we are going to get the series elements as 0, 2, 19, 25, 53. We require only one loop or one iteration. So the third largest number we are going to get one operations. So instead of taking the variable count for the external loop in the program like n minus 1, n minus 2, n minus 3, etc., it is better to take the count n minus 1 all time for simplicity. The resulting program is given figure. So now we will see step by step execution of the ascending order program. Later we will see at a glance. The first instruction we will write as we are considering the data is existing in a memory where I am taking n1, n2, n3, n4 as 4 numbers. So this we are going to give with some variable name as series. How many values we are going to write that is how many iterations we are going to have that we are going to place in the next memory location. As it is consist of 4 numbers so the number of iterations which we require is 3. First, the address of the data segment will be assigned by the assembler which will be there in the data. So that we are going to be assigned into the data segment register. As immediate data loading into the segment register is not allowed, first the immediate data will be stored in AX. From AX to the data segment register will be transferred this data. So the first two instructions are used for loading the data segment address assigned by the assembler into the data segment register. Next, how many iterations we are going to have that we are going to be write in the count that is CL register as well as CH register. One will do for each and every iteration. The total number of iterations, how many we require that we are going to have in CH register. So once the count is loaded, now the address of the first element, what is the offset value of the first element to fetch this, we are going to use the instruction with the directive offset directive. The offset directive will fetches the offset value of the variable with the name series. So this offset value will be loaded into SI by using the move instruction. So move SI comma offset of series. This instruction will load the offset value assigned for the series variable into SI register. Now for fetching the data that is N1 data into AL register, we are going to use move AL comma in brackets SI. So here we are going to be place the data in the memory. So we are going to be refer with the indexing addressing mode where SI will contain the address of the a number that content of that particular memory location will be stored into the AL. Now we will compare the first number with the second number. So AL will consist of first number, then SI plus 1, the next memory location contains will contains N2 number. Here we will compare N1 with N2. So when we are going to be exchange this data, if N1 is greater than N2, so go for exchange of the data. If N1 is less than N2, no exchange. Just you can proceed for further comparison. So for that comparison, we use compare AL comma SI plus 1. So if AL content is less than SI plus 1, then the carry flag is equal to 1. If AL content is greater than SI plus 1, then the carry flag is equal to 0. So now if you consider these two cases, if AL content is less than SI plus 1 indicates the first number is smaller than the second number, so then don't go for exchange. Directly you can skip the exchange instructions. Suppose if the first number is greater than the second number, that is AL content is greater than the SI plus 1, that is carry flag is equal to 0, then go for exchange data. So here we go for writing the JC instruction. Why we require JC instruction is Whenever the carry is equal to 0, I want to go for exchange. Whenever carry flag is equal to 1, I want to skip the exchange. So this exchange instruction we want to skip. So for that we will write carry. So whenever the carry is equal to 1, go for label 1. So label 1 will skip these two instructions. 
Suppose if carry flag is equal to 0, that means the first number is bigger than the next number. So we have to swap those two numbers. So for swapping, we have the exchange instruction. Exchange SI plus 1, which is the second data, will be exchange with the first data, which is there in the AL register only, but not the memory location. So in the next memory location, here, SI, SI plus 1 will have the second data and AL will contain the first data. After swapping, the first number will be placed into SI plus 1 and the second number will be placed in AL register. So after executing this instruction, SI plus 1 will consist of the first number whereas AL will contains the second number. Now exchange SI comma AL. So what is SI is consist of? SI will consist of the first number whereas AL will consist of the second number. So when you go for exchange, these two contents will be swapped so that SI contents will have the second number, AL contents will have the first number. So here the contents of SI plus 1 and S, you can see the contents are swapped. Next, once this checking is done for advanced into the next memory location, we go for incrementing the address which is there in SI register by using the instruction increment SI. As one comparison is done, so we can go for decrementing the count which is there in CL register. So decrement CL then go for checking whether the CL content is 0 or non-zero. If CL content is 0, that indicates all the comparisons are done. So, you can go for go, going to the next, it, next iteration. Suppose if CL is equal to non-zero, then we have to go for next comparison within the same iteration. So, for that purpose, we go for checking J and Z, that is, if CL is non-zero, go to label 2, otherwise, go to the next instruction. So, what we are going to place in the label 2 is, in the label 2, we are going to write the instruction, which is for fetching the data from the memory. Suppose, if CL content is 0, then decrement the CH. Again, we will check, if the CH content is non-zero, then go for a second iteration otherwise you can terminate the program so j inject l3 so in the l3 what we are doing is we are going to move the cl content into ch again starting from the first memory location we will compare each and every data with the remaining memory location so like this it will be repeated until the cx is equal to ch is equal to 0 once the ch is equal to 0 then we can go for terminate the program. So once CH is equal to 0, then the J and Z condition fails. So it will come to the next instruction. In the next instruction, we are having the termination that is for returning to the DOS prompt by using INT AH 4 CH. It is for returning to the DOS by generating the inter 21H. So this is the program for sorting the given series in ascending order. Now we will see the program in a glance. First, we will Use the directive, assume directive for requesting the assembler for assigning the address for data segment and code segment by using assume directive. Assume CS colon code and DS colon data. Then the start of the segment using the segment directive as it is corresponding to the data segment, we will write data segment indicates it is the start of the data segment. So in this data segment, we are going to write series db 65h some data 89h abh and 52h so now here we are going to be right how many iterations we are going to have the number of iterations we are going to have is 03 so you will write itr db 03h after assigning that is sorting in ascending order the data we are going to be loaded in the same memory location so data enders to end the segment now, in the code segment, it is for starting of the segment. First, we will load the address assigned for the data segment into the DS register by using a couple of instructions that is move ax, comma data followed by move DS, comma ax. Then move CL, comma number of iterations which is there in the ITR variable. So move CL, comma ITR. The same CL contents we are going to be loaded into CH register because iterations we have to repeat. Next. For fetching the values in the series, first we have to fetch the address of the series variable. For that, move SI comma offset of series. 
For fetching the data, we will write move AL, comma in square braces SI. Then we will compare the first number which is there in the AL register with the SI plus 1, that is second number by using CMP AL, comma in square braces SI plus 1. So if the first number is greater than the second number, so then we go for square. Uh, exchanging the data if first number is less than the second number then we are not going to exchange this data so when you are comparing if al content is less than si plus one then the carry flag is equal to one so where we are not going for any exchange of the data because already they are in ascending order if al content is greater than the si plus one that is first number is greater than the second number in that case the carry flag is equal to zero then we go for exchange so for this we go for checking carry flag if carry flag is equal to 1 skip to l1 so what we are skipping in this one is after jc we will write the instructions related to exchange exchange si plus 1 comma al where al is containing the first number si plus 1 refers to the second number so the first number and second number will be swapped after exchanging the second memory location will contain the first number al will contain the second number but we are not moving to the memory location so we can move the second memory second data into the first memory location by exchanging si with al so xhg si comma al so here si will contain the second first number which is bigger than the second number so that will be exchanged with al contents after this for advancing to the next memory location go for incrementing si as one comparison is done decrement cl if still the cl content is non-zero go to label 2 where label 2 it is used for fetching the data from the memory location so once all these comparisons are done in a single iteration then cl will become zero so if cl is equal to zero then jet flag is equal to one then go to the next instruction if cl is non-zero that means still we need comparisons so jet flag is equal to zero so then go to label so once all the comparisons are done jet flag is equal to be zero this condition is false so the next instruction will be excluded for advancing to the next iteration we go for decrementing ch if ch is non-zero go to label 3 so what is label 3 will consist of as we are done cl is equal to zero and this cl iterations values we are going to be placed in ch register decrement ch then move ah comma 4 ch int 21h we can end the code segment by using code enders to end the program we use end start so this is program for ascending order now we will move to a program writing a program for descending order so write a, a program to sort a given series in descending order only the difference between ascending order and descending order is if first number is bigger than the second number that is if n1 is greater than n2 don't go for exchange if n1 is less than n2 so then we go for exchange instruction only this is the a difference will be there for ascending order and descending order now we will see the instructions step by step move ah comma data move ds comma ax this is for loading the data segment address into the ds register move cl comma itr then move cl comma ch ch comma cl then move the offset of the series into the si register for that move si comma offset of series fetch the elements into the al register by using move al comma in square braces si now compare al register contained with the si plus one al will contain the first number si plus one will contain the second number so now as we are doing a descending order so if first number is less than the second number then go for exchange if first number is bigger than the second number then we go for no exchange that is skipping the exchange instruction so here when the first number is greater than 
the second number, the carry flag is equivalent to zero. If first number is less than the second number, then the carry flag is equivalent to one. So when we have to exchange is when if there is first number is less than the second number, here we go for exchange. So when the first number itself is greater than the second number, then we don't go for exchange. So we can skip the instructions. So for that, we are going to check J and C L1. So in the L1, we go for advancing to the next number location. Suppose if carry flag is equivalent to one, that indicates the numbers are in not in descending order. So we'd go for swapping the numbers by using exchange SI plus one comma AL and exchange SI comma AL. So here SI plus one is consist of second number. AL will consist of first number. So these two contents will be exchange so that SI plus one will have the first number, AL will have second number. Next, moving the second number into the first number location, we go for exchanging SI comma AL, where SI will consist of the first number, AL is consist of the second number. After exchanging, the first number location will contain the second number, AL will contain the first number. For advancing to the next number location, go for incrementing SI. As one comparison is done, we go for decrement CL. Jump to label if CL is non zero, that is J and Z L2. Once this CL is equivalent to zero, then we go for decrementing CH, then J and Z L3. So these two loops, it is for comparisons and it is for iterations. Once all the CH contents are equivalent to zero, then we will terminate the program by using move AH, 4CH and INT. 21H. These two instructions for raising the interrupt 21 type instructions and calling for subroutine for return to the DOS. Now we will see the program at a glance. Assume CS colon code comma DS colon data. This assume directive is used for requesting the memory for code segment and data segment. Segment is a directive to start a particular segment and the segment type is data. So we will write data segment. In this data segment, we are going to have the variables are series variable. The data segment is consist of series variable where each of of 8 bit size and we have four elements in this 65, 89H, ABH, 52H. As the number of comparisons will be only three. So the number of iterations I will write as ITR db 03H. We will end the data segment using the n dash directive. As it is data segment, it will be preceded by data. Then we will start the code segment by using the directive segment. As it, it is related to code, we will proceed this one with code. Then the startup program with the label start. So first instruction, we will load the data segment address, which is assigned by the assembler into the data segment register. So move ax comma data, move ds comma ax. As the immediate data, we can't load directly into the data segment register. First, we will load the data into the AX from AX to DS. We are going to load. Then move CL comma ITR. Then move CL comma CH. Move SI comma offset of series. This is for fetching the address of the series variable. Move AL comma in square braces SI. This is for accessing the contents which are there in the SI location. That is location will be there in the SI register. That memory contents will be loaded in AL register. Compare AL comma SI plus one. The first number is in AL. That will be compared with the second number which is there in the memory location SI plus one. So if the first number that is AL content is greater than SI plus one contents. So then we go for no exchange in that case the carry flag is equal to zero so then we go for no exchange if the first number is less than the second number so as we are going for descending order and in this case the carry flag is equal to one so we go for exchanging the data so we'll check for carry flag if jump on no carry go to label one so in the label one we are going to skip the exchange instructions. So after J and C, when this condition will fail, when carry flag is equal to one, this condition is fails. So subsequent instructions will be executed. In the subsequent, we will write the instructions for exchanging the data. So by using exchange instruction, exchange SI plus one comma AL, exchange SI comma AL. So the first exchange instruction will copy or exchange the first number 
which is there in the AL with the second number which is there in the SI plus 1. After exchange, SI plus 1 memory location will contain the first data, AL will contain the second data. Now, this second data we want to move into the first memory location. For that, you will write exchange in square braces SI, comma AL. SI is consist of the second number, SI will consist of the first number. So, these two contents will be exchanged so that second number will be placed in the first memory location. For advancing to the next memory location, increment SI. As one comparison is done, go for decrementing CL. So, this comparison will be takes place until CL is equal to 0. Once CL is equal to 0, then go to the next iteration by decrementing CH. If CX is non-zero, then go to loop 3. Otherwise, we can terminate the program by raising interrupt 21H. With returning to the DAS, that 4CH will be loaded into AH. So, move AH comma 4CH, INT 21H. Then we will end the code NS, that is code segment by using code NS direct to. We will end the program using the end direct to. The starting level is start level. So, this is the program related to sorting a given series both in ascending order and descending order. And the method which we are going to use for sorting we have used is bubble sort where we will compare each and every number with the subsequent numbers. So, in the first iteration the maximum of entire series will be placed in the last location for ascending order. In the next iteration, second number. In the next iteration, third biggest. Like this, we are going to be continued until all the values are arranged in ascending order. Similarly, in descending order, but only the exchange criteria will be difference between ascending order and descending order. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.